We're only doing five instead of six today. Okay. Did you steal that from Emma or did Emma steal that from you? I had Emma do it in a Yeah, thing. okay. Yeah, I okay. Had, I had her do it. So okay, she now does that all the time. She does, yeah. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> that makes me laugh every time, because every time she <gasps> says it... Did you see it? No, you nailed it right in... Yeah. Welcome to Whiskey Vault. Yeah. That's how we start the show. Okay. <laughs> all right, this is Hatch Distilling Company. This is a gift from patron Saint Eric Evanson. Eric Evanson, <laughs> you patron saint of whiskey. Whoa, I got a little contact. All right, we got the straight bourbon whiskeys as well. Oh! Thing says. So this is a distillery that focuses on all kinds of spirits. As a matter of fact, on their homepage, they say this. We are, so everyone, you know, we're craft, we're family recipe, not these guys. They say, we are distillers, beekeepers, that's number two. Farmers, foragers, doing the hard work to push the edges of craft. So they make all kinds of sh Just making stuff, They do man. spirits and Just honeys. Doing stuff. And, or, or like honey basing. Yeah. So they sourced this whiskey from another local distillery okay. called Death's Door Distillery in Middleton. Okay. And that's where they got their bourbon. Middleton. Not Ireland. No, no, no. Middleton, Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, they are in Egg Harbor, Wisconsin. So Hatch Distilling... No shortcuts, honestly. Okay. Wah, wah. Um, so, 45% straight bourbon. Does it have like a, what's, well, you don't really see that very often. What's it called? The divot. There's a name for it and we looked it up and somebody, I read it, I can't remember what it is. I think it's Weenus. Yeah, it's the bottle's Weenus. You fit the Weenus right in there. Yeah, yeah, you really can. Like, it's going pretty deep. That's the Weenus hole. <laughs> Death's Door evidently went out of business is now owned by Dancing Goat Distillery, which I think we've actually reviewed before. Mm -hmm. um, but man, perfumey, yeah, potpourri perfumey. Very rose honey. Yeah, aromatic extreme, and I uh, absolutely rose mm -hmm. petals. Mm -hmm. And the density. Yeah, man, I don't know. That is rich. I don't know, like how rich that is. That is throwing, at 45%, Yeah, that is throwing a tremendous amount of nose at you. Wow. That's the other one. Wow. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. And then <laughs> behind that rose honey. I missed. This is how we're on shoot five. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wants to know how much we don't drink, just let me take a picture of that pile right there. Right. That's leftovers from the video shooting. Right. Yeah. Don't tell them. Okay. The all think, our only excuse. They all for, think we drink eight shots every episode. Our Shoot. only excuse for being this immature is people think we're drunk. That's fair. If they knew that we were ninety nine percent sober and this immature, <laughs> yeah, that would just be embarrassing. That's true. If we only got embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Lemon. Lemon drop. Okay. Oh yeah. That behind those first things. Yeah, lemon hard candy. Oh, whoa. Bitter first, then it transitions into sweetness. Little zing. Yeah, and it's like the lemon zest zing. Yeah. Well, puckering. And then it's a, it's like a slow motion crawl towards something that's a little bit more... Sweet. Sweet and there's a little bit of... Really? Is yeah. it 45? A little sim that's, that's, It is. Yeah, I'm surprised. I would have guessed like 50. And then... That is very oily. It's very oily. And then there's like a cinnamon thing that shows up about halfway through. Yeah, but it's cinnamon sugar. Yeah. Do you want cinnamon sugar on wheat toast? Do you want like really grainy? Do you want to try and hit the thing? Yeah, yeah. I've never done that. I don't think. I think it's always your thing. Ah, uh, pretty good. I'm about six inches below it. Yeah, well, not bad. But you did some damage. I hit the screen that we look at to you see whether we're on camera or not. <laughs> it's pretty unnecessary though. I mean, as long as we're here. Yeah, yeah, I just don't go outside. And it doesn't stop me from wondering, so what's the point? Yeah. I just like to look at myself while we shoot. That's why I get distracted sometimes. I was like, how are you doing? My <laughs> God. Nice. Look at ah. that. <laughs> look at that. Man, hand that off. guy's just all legs. Just all <laughs> legs. <laughs> we had. <laughs> we 
had a, a guy. Uh, so I was in California over the weekend with my old bandmates, Ryan and Phil, mm-hmm. who I've known since I was 21 years old. Yeah. I've spent thousands of hours crammed up next to them in vehicles all over the United States mm-hmm. and other countries. So we go way back. So anytime we hang out, we'll have an encounter where it's like, it's always the three of us and then the rest of the world. Yeah. Where it's like you go into a shop and some guy will try to interact with the three of us, but we're sort of like this gang. And they'll make some comments about something and then we'll start inside jokes by accident. So you're just making... About, no, we, we're kind of gracious. feel weird and like outside. No, no, we're kind of gracious. But we went to a clothing shop where there's another musician in town and we were hanging out and the guy was just, he's in a jean shop. And he went on this like five minute tirade about how stretch fabric and jeans, yeah. it's like the bottom feeder. Sh- that's like sourced bottom feeder, right? Yeah. And, and I'm looking down. Wait, can you do this? Yeah, I'm sick because Ryan was looking at getting some jeans. He's like, well, these are the real deal, 100% denim, not stretch bullshit. Right. All that. Here's how stretch works. Let's mm-hmm. talk about that. And he went on this whole rant. It's like sourcing for whiskey guys, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting there on the couch and I look over at Phil's sitting next to me. I was like, bro, we're on. Sure, I'm wearing some stretch jeans. And Phil's like, that oh, looks like at least 20% stretch right there. That's like 20% bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So we went on this whole rant and I was and I was just like, I'm gonna take my stretch jeans somewhere else. So for the rest of the whole time we were hanging out in that shop, for the whole weekend, right. every time someone did something, Phil Thank or Ryan and I would be like, some that sounds like something someone would do with wearing some stretch jeans. Yeah, That's some stretch jeans bullshit. Stretch jeans have been around a while. Right? Yeah. And it wasn't until about four years ago. Yeah. I even knew this existed. Yeah. And then I accidentally one time bought a pair of jeans that had the it's stretch like, material. What the hell? Yeah. It's broken what, in immediately. What is this? Is amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm buying nothing but whatever this is. And yeah. Now all of my jeans are stretched. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the purists hate it. Yeah. So all we purists and everything. All weekend, it's been it's like f-ing stretch jeans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy probably wears stretch jeans. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> this guy probably definitely wears stretch jeans. Uh, there's a little bit of grape skin in there. A little grape skin. Yeah. Like bitter. Yeah. I always, the, the whole more, story. The more I drink this, the more I like mm, it. It gets sweeter every sip. It when, does. Especially with the water. Yeah. Added water, sweetness. Mm-hmm. I like it more. That whole story came about because when we were talking about looking at each other the camera. I was like, looks like it's nice for a stretch jeans, that camera <laughs> shot. But I was like, you're never going to get that joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've been doing it all weekend. So it's a running joke now. Yeah, this is like kind of straddling classic, familiar, recognizable, comforting flavors. A but then also, also bring in a little bit of, uh, you know, like the orange peel quality and... Yeah, yeah. Some, like the like the the rose and the honey, <gasps> some things that are a little bit outside the norms, but it, it still feels very comfortable. That's what it is. It's starting to taste in the direction of an old fashioned orange which, zest, which bitters. one of the ninety versions of old fashioned, right? Are you right. But about cherry, now? orange zest, right. bitters, right. and then the alcohol in the wood. Right. It's starting to hit all of those notes. So we did an old fashioned episode recently. Uh, my favorite was Richard saying, no matter what we do, people are gonna hate it. Right. But you know my favorite comment? Right. I wish I could look up his name right now because I want to give him so much credit. Because yeah. he said this, right. the guys, no matter, Richard quote, no matter what we do, people are gonna give a shit. Yeah. So we did it wrong. Me, oh, those stupid internet people. Five minutes later, me, no wait, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, oh, that was the most self-aware comment yeah. on the whole channel. Well so, done. So the, the only thing that got cut from the episode mm. that um, I really kind of was like a little twitchy about because I didn't catch it. Until it was- Alex does 90% of the editing. And then like the day before release, I'll spend the entire day just poking at it and tweaking and prodding the last final 10%. So there was a moment where I realized this is a maraschino cherry. Yeah. A neon bright red maraschino cherry. In our uh, tasting room, our version is called the New Fashion. Right. It has a Luxardo cherry. Yeah, nice. It's like, I wanted to like slip in. It's like, well, of course we do it with the Luxardo cherry because I knew. People like, are going to flip out about yeah, that bullshit. But that ended up getting cut. Yeah. And now it's like, oh, now we have these neon red cherry and it looks like it's our official, but Drink. we don't have, yeah. So, no, that's we not that's not what we serve. Yeah, we don't need But it's like the those. most, it's the most common. Put to, uh, common way of putting together an old yes, fashioned. Yes, it is. And, and what was interesting to me, I had no idea uh, old fashions were that controversial mm-hmm. until Richard said something. 
Um, and then looking into it and then reading the comments, I was like, oh my God, everybody has their own version. Wisconsin's all about like uh, sparkling water. Yeah. Like, and then there's people with brandy that put into I it. Know, it's, not even, it's not even necessarily like, a whiskey cocktail. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, well, if everybody has their own version of an old fashioned, this could be just an ongoing series of exploring old fashions. Old fashions. Yeah. Just a cocktail. That could be interesting. It's like, all right, well, let's do some blind. Nobody knows what's in it. We're doing the ingredients that people recommended in the comments. And if you want a true nerdiness about an old fashioned, yeah. You remember how we uh, studied rectifier recipes? We tried to replicate some of them as people trying to fake whiskey. Yeah. It's arguable that all the ingredients in an old fashioned are an attempt to replicate the natural ingredients in a bourbon. Oh, you mean like the cherry orange zest, and the orange, the, cherry, the sugar, the bitters for the wood bitterness. Yeah, it's an attempt to take something that wasn't bourbon and make really it, right. and hit all the bourbon notes. Right. So I wonder if you just do like a neutral, like a, let's just take like a vodka. Yeah. They put that stuff in there. Yeah. Would that be vaguely yeah. reminiscent of a cheap? I think that's why it originated in prohibition to try to replicate a whiskey. Right. Not as just as a cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a guess. I don't know that to be true, but all of those notes are in a typical bourbon. That could be, a, maybe it's like a YouTube Shorts series. Mm -hmm. Our futile attempt to find the world's most perfect old-fashioned. Yeah. They go through like 90 different versions of the old-fashioned. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make Richard do it. Yeah. Oh, God. I got him on other things like the merch wall. We got we to gotta save that. Yeah. We don't need to make revenue. Yeah, that's oh, bullshit. Yeah. We don't need to pay payroll. We've already proven that. <laughs> God. All right. Um, yeah. Like yeah. I said, I enjoy the things that were common and familiar and comforting, but also a couple of bits that felt like it was like the rose petals and the grape skin. It was kind of pulling up for a little bit off the beaten path. Yeah. That uh, was kind of like a nice balance of both worlds there. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your liver side. And if you drink, may you drink with us.